This video explains how to import your library information into Charms. The Charms Library Import Wizard guides you through the process of importing your library information into Charms. The process involves several different procedures which we'll cover in this video. First, you need to set up your library categories, invoicing or instrumentation in Charms. Next, download the Charms Library Template. This file is a spreadsheet to help you put your library information in the right order for the import. You must use this file for the import. Once you have downloaded the template, you'll work with that file in Excel to prepare your information. When the information is ready to import, you'll return to the Import Library Wizard screen in Charms, where you will upload the Excel file, review the data, and finalize the import. Now that you understand the process, let's look at each procedure. If you want to include categories, voicing or instrumentation for pieces in your library, you'll need to set up these items in Charms first. To get to the Library Setup screen, first click on the Library icon at the top of the screen. Select the Setup Black tab. You may create as many categories and instrumentation or voicing items as you need. Keep your categories fairly generic if possible, but it's whatever areas you need to organize your library. Simply enter the name and select Enter Category or Enter Instrumentation Voicing. Repeat until you have entered the items you need. You can create more later as the need arises. The list at the bottom shows the categories or instrumentation voicing items you have entered so far. You can click on the pencil icon to edit an item or on the red X to delete it. Next, you'll need to go to the Import Library Wizard screen to download the template file for your library information. To get to this screen, first click on the library icon at the top of the screen. Select the Import Export Black tab. Select Import Wizard from the list. Click on the Download Template button to save the Charms template to your computer. Your browser will ask whether you want to open or save the file. You should save the file before opening it. Make sure that you don't change the name of the file when you save it. Let's take a quick look at that Excel file. The file consists only of column headers at the top for all of the information that Charms stores for your library. The only column that is required is the title. All other columns are optional. Next to each column header is information about the number of characters you can include or what type of data is required for that column. You'll need to get your library information into this file. If you don't have this information in a database file already, enter in the information and save it as you go until it's all entered or just upload a group of titles at a time starting with an empty template when you begin working on the next group. For example, you could upload all of the A titles then do the B titles next time. If you do have this information in a database file, you can copy and paste the information into the template. An easy way to do this is to view both your library file and the Charms library template file side by side. You can size each file to take half of your screen like this example. Copy your information into the Charms template one column at a time to get the information in the right order. Make sure that you don't paste the information over the column header in the Charms library template file. If you're including any of the optional information areas, Make sure it's in the requested format so that there are no errors with the import. The category or voicing instrumentation should use the same spelling and case as you set up in Charms. For the library number, you can use any numbering system you wish, but we recommend that you use leading zeros to keep the same number of characters for all items. This is to assist with report sorting, otherwise your list may not be sorted like you want. For the condition, use the following codes, new, good, fair, or poor. If you leave the number of copies available blank, Charms will enter one. Note that there must be more than one copy for the print barcodes feature to appear within the account. In order to bill students for lost music, enter the cost per copy. Do not use dollar signs for any of the amount fields. Some of the columns only apply to choir accounts. Conversely, you may want to use an existing column with a title that doesn't apply to your use for another purpose because there's not a column in the spreadsheet named for that purpose. For example, you could enter an abbreviation for a group into the state ID column if you desire. If so, enter your data in that column but do not change the existing column title. Just remember where you are uploading this alternate information. If you want to import publisher information for your titles, you must use the Charms Publisher codes. You can find these codes on the second sheet of the Charms Library template file. 
Replace your publisher text with the correct publisher code before pasting it into the library template file. However, if this becomes too time consuming when filling out the import template, the publisher for an individual piece can be updated from an easy drop down list on the information screen of the piece itself within your Charms account. Consider this option. When the Charms library template file is ready, make sure to save it with the original file name. If you change the file name, Charms will not be able to import it. Save the file as an Excel 97-2003 type and remember where you saved it. Next, you'll need to return to the Library Import Wizard screen to upload the file. Select the Browse button. Navigate to the location of the Charms Library template file that you saved. Select Open. Select Upload File. On the next screen, you can review any errors that may exist in your upload file. If you have any red text or errors, you'll need to go back to the Excel file to correct the errors and resave the file, overwriting the old version. Then return to the Import Library File Wizard screen and upload the file again. Note that Charms does not validate your import for duplicate titles or spelling. Charms does not look for duplicated library ID numbers either. Once you have imported the data, you will need to make changes from within Charms. Contact our office if a problem requires you to delete all of your library titles and start over. When the data is ready to import, scroll to the bottom of the screen and select Review Entries. This process can take some time if you have a large number of library items. Do not click the Review Entries button twice. Wait for it to finish. On the next screen, select Upload Library to Charms to do the final entry. Congratulations! You've imported your library information. The last screen includes links to the library screens to perform other library-related tasks. Note that you cannot replace or overwrite this data by re-importing it. Any changes will need to be made from within the Charm system on the individual library screens. However, you can import additional library items at any time by repeating the process with new information, starting with an empty template. Be sure to check out our library of videos for help with other Charms Office procedures.